Hey guys, so in this box we have a battery capacity tester. So this is like the new version or the newer version of the, the CPU fan testers that are usually 150 watts, but uh, this one's 180 watt and it has some new stuff, new features. Let's take a look. User manual. Uh, it should be the power adapter. Yes, indeed it is. Uh, we've got cables. Looks like a USB cable. Let's open this up. Okay, so we got, I guess, the main clip cables. There's a USB uh, cable. And this being a newer product, I don't understand why, but they, this is not USB-C. It's this the, what is it, micro USB. Uh, okay. Seems like they would update that to a newer style. Uh, we have a temp sensor, a temperature probe. So that's that's new. There's a little board kind of a breakout board that you can test. I think, uh, I guess like, there's a USB-C, a micro USB, mini USB, and a barrel jack. I think this is for testing, um, maybe testing US, like your USB ports on your, com on your computer or power adapters and see what power they can provide. And possibly, USB power banks. Okay, let's pull the main unit out. So as with the old one, they have a rubber band covering the screen and shipping. I think that uh, is probably there to keep the screen from dislodging from the PCB board and shipping because uh, there's probably a lot of vibration during shipping. Uh, so this is a large, seems to be a larger heat sink which is why I guess they are able to get to uh, the 180 watt. Uh, I like these terminals over here much better, these screw terminals. And I do believe that um, this one, yes, uh, it has a sense wires. So it has the main discharge leads and then uh, Two of them are the sense wire, sense leads, and two of them are the discharge. That way, you can get a more accurate reading without having to worry about the power drop over the wire. Take that off. So this has got a different screen. Uh, should be like uh, some kind of color screen. Also has Bluetooth. So there's a Bluetooth app, and I think. Also, there is a PC software, so let's plug the power in. And as with the original, the power plugs in back here. Oh, look at that, it has uh, RGB LEDs on it. So yeah, it has a nice color screen. It has a cutoff voltage preset already to two volts. Uh, that's nice, that way if you're testing a single cell, you don't fully discharge it and destroy it. Uh, although I'd like that to really be at 2.5, I think. So, set up. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to read the manual. Let's hook up a cell. Okay, so we're at like 3 volts on that cell. It clearly needs to be charged, but we can use it to, to play around with here. Just do start. Okay, so uh, you can move this cursor over with the setup button. So now we can go to larger amp load. So we're at five. Okay, now the fan's coming on. <laughs> that's pretty neat. So that's 14 watts. Yeah, already this one is so much nicer, <laughs> seems to be, than the original one. I think I'm going to charge this cell up and then uh, run a capacity test. 
and see how well this thing does. Alright guys, uh, this thing pretty much fully charged, but I'm going to run the charge one more time uh, just to top it off. That was weird. This little charger looked kind of malfunctioned for a minute because I saw it charge to like 3.8. But uh, anyways, it finally settled down at 3.6. That is weird. <laughs> Never seen this charger do that. Huh. Okay. Uh, Alright, well, there it is. It's finished. 3.65. Uh, put everything on this slab of marble because if anything happened to go wrong, I don't necessarily uh, trust this device just yet. Uh, so if anything happens to go wrong, I'd like it to be on something that's not combustible. Let's just start it. So let's increase... Oh, we can go ahead and just increase, increase the amps. Right there. So that's 25 amp. So that would be 1C on this. Now, I know that this cell, uh, every time I've ever checked this cell, it comes out lower than 25 amp hours. It comes out around 24 or something. So I know this cell is not going to really meet the whole 25 amp hours. So right here I'm looking at, it's got this time discharge. I don't think I want that because it's going to take more than an hour. Yeah, so it has different modes actually. Constant current, uh, constant resistance, uh, constant power, constant voltage mode. I'm not sure how. I know earlier I got down to this setting and changed the cutoff voltage to 2.4 because it was default at 2. I'm not sure how I got down there now. Oh, there's another menu. Okay, good. We still haven't reset our milliamp hour, so the test is still good. Oh, there it is. Okay. So we can set this up. Okay. There, I think that's it. So we took the time discharge off. So we won't be, I guess, we won't, I guess we won't stop at a certain time. All right. So let's start up again. There we go. That's what I want. So what I want it to do is not stop at a certain time. I want it to go until we hit this 2.4 cutoff. I'm going to let that run. That should, uh, I guess, take a roughly about an hour. And like I said, I expect this, this cell to not hit 25 amp hours. I expect it to be about 24-ish. All right, we'll be back when this is done. All right, so while this was testing here, I went ahead and took the plunge and downloaded their little app. It's not in the Play Store. You do have to download it from their website, which is on the little QR code here from the power adapter box. Um, so that's always a little sketchy. <laughs> There's a reason why it's not on the uh, Google Play Store. Uh, so I have it on my tablet, which I don't have any information, uh, no passwords stored on here. It's not logged into any accounts, no personal uh, bank accounts, anything like that. So if there's something crazy, it's kind of limited in what they could get. Uh, it, the app looks a little, little janky. But it does work. Uh, I guess the main feature that you get in the app is this graph. Looks like it can plot the voltage and the amperage. So there's a voltage checkbox, a current 
check bo checkbox and a power checkbox. So I guess the only thing that would be useful here would be the amperage and uh, well the voltage would be if you were up higher like in the 50 volts. Is there a way to... Oh wait, okay, you can change the scale. Um, but you can only change it large. You can't really change it to where it gets smaller. Uh, oh well. But yeah, um, you can also control it. So like, you can up the power by doing that. Seems like it's literally just kind of doing the same thing uh, that the buttons here are doing. Uh, so you can pretty much control the whole thing from here. Uh, you can stop it. Uh, we still have the same, uh, we still have our capacity on there, so we can start it back up and continue. So, yeah, pretty neat. Could be a lot better. I wonder how far we can go. Let's see. Yeah, it's still reading. It's still re yeah, we're, we're good, uh, I don't know, 50 feet away. Looks like we're almost halfway done. One thing I'm not sh quite, quite sure I like uh, is the screen dims after a little while. And it seems to be picking up fine on the camera, but from where I'm looking, it's, uh, it's pretty dim. You know, if you push a button, it comes back. Anyways, okay, I'm going to let that go, and uh, I'll come back. Well, alrighty, it has completed. It even says complete. So it stopped at uh, 2.4 volts. We had uh, 71.9 watt hours. And just as I expected, we got 24.387 amp hours. So like I said, this cell does not reach the 25 amp hours. It does around 24 like I said so uh, this thing seems to work quite well uh, it took an hour and uh, 26 seconds nice I like the little end screen here the little complete end screen <laughs> that's pretty good so yeah overall uh, I like this pretty neat uh, it's definitely an upgrade from the previous one um, it certainly is a, a more expensive. Yeah, I think uh, this one's like $79, whereas the previous one, I think you can get for around $45 or $49. Yeah, I'm looking forward to testing some more batteries with this. But anyways, guys, uh, that's going to be the end of the video. Uh, that's the end of the review of the A-Torch DL24P. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you on the next one.